The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, show number 661. Welcome to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, helping you celebrate Celtic culture through music. I am Mark Gunn, and this podcast is here for the fans of Celtic music, not just the big names you've heard of, but the bands in your neck of the woods at your festivals. It's here to build a diverse Celtic community and help the incredible artists who so generously share their music with you. If you hear music you love, please email the artist. Let them know you heard them on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. Musicians depend on your generosity. I can't begin to start the, I'm going to come back to that in a sec, but you can uh, support these artists by buying CDs, album pens, shirts, digital downloads, or join their communities on Patreon. You can find a link to all the artists in the show notes, along with show times when you visit our website at CelticMusicPodcast.com. I was struck recently, uh, with just a little bit of concern about music, live music in particular, because I'm trying to book some shows and, you know, I, I get paid okay, but it's okay. And that okay price is the same as it was 20 years ago. And it, it struck me that I, I really should encourage um, 
you listeners, fans of Celtic music to consider that when you're going out to see some live music, go out and uh, bring some extra money for the band. I know a lot of people don't listen to CDs these days. Uh, well, that was main income for many, many years. And that has pretty much dropped out. Shirts are great and such at, at, sh- at shows and such, but the problem is, is they have a very high uh, margin. And so uh, bands don't make as much. So if you are out and about and finding some great music that you enjoy, uh, consider bringing an extra 20 and giving it to the artist, giving them a tip. Um, or, you know, obviously you can buy their, their music and their pins and their uh, shirts and stuff online as well. Um, and Patreon is still, you know, by far uh, my, my lifesaver. So um, go support people uh, support bands that way. That would be really great um, if you could do that. And I love some pictures from your trips to see live music. So send them to follow at bestkeltymusic.net. And that's also where you can submit music to be on the podcast. All right. Uh, one more thing. Uh, episodes are booked up through June. So if you are wanting to be on the podcast, you should send it soon because I'll be starting to work on those probably in July, which as a quick side note, July is also plastic free July. The idea is refusing to use single use plastics. Just keep that at the back of your brain. I'll see if I can remember to remind you. Uh, come July. <laughs> so, all right, we kicked off the show with Connor Mallon. He had a great podcast interview uh, on Folk on Foot. <laughs> I really love that podcast. Uh, but he is out of Scotland. That was a track called Mist from the Moil. It's from his album Unearthed. Go check out that podcast. And uh, next up is Blackthorn with Mazurka and Sally Gardens from Here's to You.
a white hair As swift as the swallow that flies through the air You may trap the world over But none to compare To the pride of old Craig in that body white hair On clear autumn morning as you will suppose The red golden sun or the green mountain rose To the bunny white hair So we search through the lowlands And up through the glens All among the wild ditches Where the white hair had ends Till at last coming down O'er the heather so fair From behind the wild thistle Out jumps the white hair Bang, bang, when his gun And his dogs he slipped to as swift as the wind or the green mountains blue. But his dog soon came back and made poor Barney sigh. For he knew that the white hair had bid him good
After Blackthorn came Fiala with the Cregan White Hair from Home and Away, then Maggie's Wake with Adaptation from their self-titled album, finally Charlene Edzima with Ian from The Initiation. I always want your feedback. What are you doing today while listening to the podcast? You can send a written comment along with a picture of what you're doing while listening or of a band that you saw recently. Email me, follow at bestkiltingmusic.net. Stan Barry emailed, good morning from North Alberta. I just got back from another trip into the wilds of northern British Columbia. It snowed last week while I was driving up, but cleared up in a couple days, leaving everything very wet and sloppy. There must have been over 100 pounds of mud on my vehicle. The bears are out and I have seen a couple black bears along the roads. The bush is very dry this year and one place where I normally see trumpeteer swans and other aquatic birds is completely dry. I will include a couple of photographs from this time last year. There is a great concern about the potential wildfire situation this summer. I truly enjoy listening to the podcast while I drive. Unfortunately, I have been unable to download the last couple of them. Has there been a change to the way they are posted? Please give my warmest regards to your family. I regret that I was unable to journey to the States this spring as there have been a number of changes on behalf of some of my clients. Thank you, Stan, so much for sharing. And as I've mentioned on some uh, recent episodes, which you might have missed, (laughs) yes, there have been some changes to the way the podcast is posted. Namely, the website itself has changed. It has a new basic format, which I'm still not happy with, I confess, but it's what I have at present, and I'm not sure exactly when it will be updated um, in the future. However, if you go follow the podcast on Patreon, you can download the episodes on Patreon. You don't have to necessarily be a subscriber, although that is always greatly appreciated, but all you have to do is follow the show, and you can download the episodes as they come out, and you can get the cool Patreon app and listen to them there as well. Um, you can also do that on my blog at markgun.com forward slash blog. Those are the two best ways to download individual episodes without having to dig into the feed or whatever. So go check that out. Carl C. emailed, I'm disappointed you needed to do this after all the years. It detracts from the quality of the podcast. And Carl was uh, talking about the advertising that is now on the podcast. And uh, I did send him a a message, and this is a slightly updated. Thank you, Carl, for writing. I really appreciate the feedback. As I emailed you uh, when you wrote, I am still testing the ads. I have decided I don't prefer them at the beginning of the show. So at present, at least, I'm not going to do that. As I continue to test, I will only have them at the end of the show. Right now, I'm putting two ads at the end of each episode. And they aren't always in there, as far as I've seen. So right now, I'm leaning on the idea of keeping those on the show because... Every little bit of money does help with the podcast and the finances, but I will make a final decision in July or August when I have some more time to better understand the results of the tests. So Timothy Potts of Clay Babies emailed a photo. Hi, Mark. You played one of our songs last year on your show. We just released a new album of Celtic fiddle tunes, which I've already had on the show. (laughs) We are very excited. We recorded the whole thing on New Year's Eve as we were playing at a session. Here's a link to the Bandcamp page. If you play any of the sets, I'd recommend track one or track three. On November 1st, my wife gave me a Celtic podcast shirt, pint glass, and some recordings for my birthday. I've been enjoying them. And he sent a nice picture of our Celtic cat pint glass, which you can get in our store at uh, magerecords.com. Back to the music. Runa is up next from their new album, When the Light Gets In. This is The Fox. Give him light for many a mile to go that night for he reached the town oh town oh town oh he had many a mile to go that night for he reached the town oh he ran till he came to a great big bend the ducks and the geese were kept there and he said a couple of you are gonna grease my chin for I leave this town oh town oh town oh a couple of you are gonna grease my chin for I leave this town oh town oh or I leave this town, no Oh, the fox went out on a chilly night Prayed for the moon to give him light For he'd many a mile to go that night Before he reached 
the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh, in many a mile to go that night, for he reached the town, oh. Big bin. The ducks in the case were kept there And he said a couple of you were gonna grease my chin Before I leave this town, oh, town, oh, town, oh A couple of you were gonna grease my chin Before I leave this town, oh He grabbed the grey goose by the neck Threw the duck across his back And he didn't mind Quack, quack, and the legs all dangling down, oh She popped her head crying, John, John, the great goose is gone. Foxes on the town, oh, town, oh, town, oh, John, John, the great goose is gone. Foxes on the town, oh.
Mozart has taken a notion for to sail across the sea, and he's left his own dear genie weeping on the green at key. Weep no more, my own dear genie, take your bairn upon your knee. When I return, we'll be married down upon the green at key. Johnny's gone in search of riches for Australia. He is bound. Handsome in his canvas breeches, for to sail the world around. Weep no more, my own dear genie. Take your bairn upon your knee. When I return, we'll be married down upon the green.
After Runa came the Crowfoot Rakes with Hector the Hero from Off She Goes. Then the Drowsy Lads with Johnny Todd from Wide Awake. Tell and Tree finished up the set with Weasel's Revenge Set from The Cat's Meow. Thank you so much, patrons of the podcast. You are amazing. It is because of your generosity that you get to hear so much great Celtic music each and every week. Your kindness pays for our engineer graphic designer, Celtic Music Magazine editor, promotion of the podcast. It allows me to buy the music I play here. It also pays for my time creating the show each and every week. As a patron, you get ad-free and music-only episodes before regular listeners. You get to vote in the Celtic Top 20, you get standalone stories, and you get a private feed to listen to the show, or you can listen through the Patreon app. All that for as little as $1 per episode. Special thanks to our new and continued patrons of the podcast, James Dolan and Pam Costi. Here is your three-step plan to support the podcast. Number one, go to our Patreon page. Number two, decide how much you want to pledge every week. One dollar, five dollars, twenty-five dollars per month. Um, You can cap how much you want to spend per month. So you can pledge twenty-five dollars per week and cap it at twenty-five dollars per month. And uh, you will become a Celtic legend of the podcast. Number three, keep listening to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast to celebrate Celtic culture through music. You can become a generous patron of the podcast on Patreon at songhinge.com. And this fall, I'm taking a small group of invaders to taste whiskey and hike the hills of, and dales of Scotland. There are still two spots open. Learn more about the invasion at CelticInvasion.com. Claire Cunningham has a new album out. It's called On My Way. And this is Wherever You Are, I Will Go.
After Claire Cunningham came Elias Alexander, Ramblixer, and Maura Sean Scallon with Wildflower. Then came Shades of Green with White Picket Fences from Conversations We Never Had. And we finished up the set with Silver Spear by Drum Spider from their album Green Mantle. Woo! Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. I hope you had an absolutely wonderful time. And if you did, make sure you vote in the Celtic Top 20. You're going to need to do that all summer long. I will be out voting as well because that's what I do. I like listening and I like uh, to share my thoughts on it. I've been actually sharing uh, some of my favorite bands on the uh, Pub Songs and Stories podcast, which the next season will come out in second week of June, I think. So when that series uh, starts up, I, I visit my uh, Soul of a Harper CD, which I released uh, 20 years ago. Was it 20? Yeah, 20 years ago. Uh, I first released my first solo CD. So uh, I'm going to be talking about that album on Pub Songs and Stories starting in June. So I hope you'll go check that out. You can vote in the Celtic Top 20 and make this year's best show. You have three weeks to vote. There's a link in the show notes. We're going to finish up with Fig for a Kiss. This is Thrush. It's from their album, Wherever You Go. Thank you so much for being here, for listening, for sharing the music, for telling friends, for going to visit the bands, for supporting the bands, for buying their music, for giving them tips. Uh, I really appreciate it. All that stuff helps to that this show makes a difference in uh, these musicians' lives. So um, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Here is Fig for a Kiss.
The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast is produced by Mark Gundy, Keltfather, and our patrons on Patreon. The show is edited by Mitchell Peterson with graphics by Miranda Nelson Designs. Visit our website to follow the show. You'll find links to all of the artists played in this episode. Todd Wiley is the editor of the Celtic Music Magazine. Subscribe to get 34 Celtic MP3s for free. Plus, you'll get seven weekly news items about what's happening with Celtic music and culture online and this podcast as well. Best of all, you will connect with your Celtic heritage. Please tell one friend about this podcast. Word of mouth is the absolute best way to support any creative endeavor. Finally, remember, reduce, reuse, recycle, and think about how you can make a positive impact on your environment. Promote Celtic culture through music at CelticMusicPodcast.com.